I welcome everyone to uh, a many Odyssey. God bless you today. I pray the Most High God give us understanding in this session of many Odyssey. I pray in the name of Jesus, Father, that you minister life to every one of us in this session. Open our understandings to areas that we are going wrong and what is not right in your word that people have twisted and is change your message what is not right that people are doing negatively against your word father help us to understand how people are deceived where people are deceived in this session open our understanding to know the errors that enemy have used to twist against your word that have deceived so many today heavenly father i pray in the name of jesus that this word come live Speak to us, minister to us, and help us not to be deceived. Help us to consistently remain in your word, to your own glory, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this session. In the mighty name of Jesus, I welcome you, my brother. I welcome you, my sister. Our God is so faithful, opening our eyes of understanding in these last days, revealing mysteries to us. I just pray that God will give you opening ear. I pray that God will give you understanding to what he has for us in these last days and for us to be prepared not to be deceived and misled just like other people that were deceived and misled in Jesus name. Amen. Today um, we are looking at, uh, in many of this, we look at the stubborn misled twins. Today we are talking about two ladies that are twins. I didn't know if they're identical or not, but I know in the story, as the Lord guided me, these are twin sisters, okay? They are ladies, and they grew up together, lived in the same house, and even though they had separate jobs, they have, they still live together. And them living together, I, know, I didn't see the part of their parents or something, but they live together. But there was a misconception in the mission that what happened in the life of these two sisters that are twins. They later accepted Christ. Yes, they later accepted Christ, but there was a problem. One, it, it was stubborn to the truth. One accepted the truth openly to obey Christ. Okay? So the issue that happened here between them is that the the one that is in a different place of worship they started in a different different they started differently in a different place of worship but at, though they start, when they were when they were when they were somebody introduced them to Christ they accepted but they choose where to worship because they are adults at first they were like I'm going together but in the midst of their their journey one that is so stubborn even though she accepted Christ but she still have this mindset to lead herself she had this mindset to do you know to do what she want and they were adults right they were adults one the one that is so stubborn have this job and the job called the, a con woman she she was a lady a con woman you know when you watch some movies that are con people let me read a little bit about con somebody that is of con that is a con, a con they have a con job um a con woman who cheats or tricks someone by gaining their trust and persuading them to believe something that is not true that is someone that is, that is a con woman. And I want to say, a woman who tricks others into giving her money. And so on. A con woman posed as a charity worker to trick people into handing over money. Just as we see a lot of um, people that want you to pay for miracle. They deceive people. We have people that go in the name of Christ today. They say they are miracle workers like a charity. They are as a charity person. But her mission was for something that is to rip people off. She was a common, but when she was alive, when she was alive, she she had more. She was these people, you know, these people that this um this 
known false prophets and false teachers, they have people that they send to carry out some dangerous work. For example, when, when they kind of give false prophecy or something like that, there are people that they will send to go and do act negatively in that family to be as if that prophecy is coming to pass. You see what I'm saying? So they take over, torture the family for them to fall into one thing or the other, accept their rules and all that in a way to bring to pass whoever sent them. So she was in so many, I would say, she operated in so many fields. She was, okay, let me give you one example. One of them, the Lord showed me when the whole thing started. I saw three ladies, right? I think I wrote it down. I just don't want to go faster because I like us to take it step by step. I saw three ladies. They were in jeans pants. They wore a white t-shirt and a, a, a jean, a, a pant, right? But three of them held one lady. They dragged this lady. And you see, the lady they were dragging was so scared. I was like, what is going on here? Why are they holding them? Why are they holding this lady? It went off my eye. Then I was made to understand who we are going to talk about today is, was a con woman. She was used by people on the top to get people, to make them make people do what they want. So they held that lady and dragged the lady somewhere and they kept her until they got access to what they wanted. She was, she was tough. She was a tough con woman when she was, when she was alive. Beautiful and easily to attract people, easily to deceive people. That's who she was when she was alive. Okay, so this is one thing I want to say. A con woman who tricks others into giving her money and so on. A con woman posed as a charity worker to trick people into handing over. The Lord gave me insight very well. I don't want to call them. You see, these false prophets, a lot of false teachers and media entertainers on the media, you see a lot of them, they, when they, the way they perform you will see that there's something else about them right and it's like they'll be committing atrocity people will be coming to complain of what they did to them people will be complaining and going the media what they do to them you will see that these people will not be able to have access to these you know to bring these leaders to to court or something like that you know why because they have con men and con women that will go and silence people that wants to come against their name. That's an example I can use to just break it down for you to understand. You see, so they have a lot of calm men and calm women. For example, you speak. A, some people say, "Don't don't talk about a man of God like that. Don't decide their papa and all that." But what this person is saying, this is what this person did to me or do to her. But there are people that will shut these people down. This lady was like that. Just and a clear example to just break down for you to see who this con woman was. Okay? So she was, even those in the high society, they have connections. Even to people in the high society. There's one, let me give you a little one. The Lord just give me insight. There was, there was one that the man, the man won the wife out of the picture. Out of the picture. She, he got some con uh, women, you know, con people to help him carry the job what they didn't kill the lady but they just put her in a place whereby she'll be she'll not be able to speak against the person that was her husband and all that this wife was tortured really bad you understand and because there's this con man and she was afraid because he, they have sent con people to torture this lady the wife she could not go beyond what did she did she have to just leave that part of the world so that's just an example I'm going to use to give. That's one of them the Lord granted me grace. So she was one of the con women that went to shut this woman up because she came as a simple lady to the wife of this person that uh, 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 rented them. Okay, But mind you, she posed as someone that was a Christian. So this is where we're going to look into some, some things today that had to do with this person and that had to do with such people that live the way they live and they say they are they, are, they say they are christians they are christians and children of god as well but they have other evil missions okay and you will ask me do they study the bible well we will check all these things if they study the bible will they will they will they, will they, will they not do what the bible says some of them study the Bible, but they've made up their mind what they want to do. They will use the Bible as a camouflage. That's why some people, 
That's why we see a lot of these false preachers. They, they, if you watch the, the message, our daily, our prophetic prayer and daily devotion, you see that the Lord said they use His name as a cover up, but they do evil. They, on that platform, in the in the midst of children of God, they use His name to cover up. So this is where she was. People that read, okay, they say they read, and if you ask me, I don't think they read. Even if they read, they are not doers of the word. Because their mind, it depends on where somebody's mind is. That's where the, where you put your treasure. That's where your mind is. If you, how you take the Lord Jesus, where you have accepted him as Lord, the way you reference him, the way you present to him, yourself to him, that's the, how important he is to you. We determine how you be willing and obedient to his instruction. We'll come to that because when she went through torture, demons in, in, in Hades, that torture, were telling her, why didn't you obey this, you know? Okay, so let us go further. The, the false doctrine, the, for, the apostle John told us what to do concerning those that teach false doctrine. In Second, Second John chapter 110, if there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God's spirit. There are people that live with false teachings. They don't want to depend on the death and resurrection of Jesus. They deny the power of the Holy Spirit. They want to they, they pray through other angels, like people pray through Mary and all that. The Bible didn't give all that. The Bible didn't give all that. They allow other, other they pray through saints. They allow saints to take over they deny that jesus jesus died on the cross so these are people that when you don't you don't fellowship you don't pray through the, you don't fellowship with these people you don't pray through for example pray through angels you don't pray through through uh, dead saints you understand you don't pray through them because that is a false teaching that is a, it's not that is a false doctrine so there's no two ways about it that's what the, the bible never told us to pray through any saint that was re recommended in the Bible. You don't pray through them. And like people pray through Mary. Mary pray for us. No. You see, look at it very well. Who died? It is Jesus. It's people that create it. That if you want to, if you want to ask something from a son, you can go through the mother. The Bible didn't say that. They, they set it up and create it. Let us face the truth. You understand what I'm saying? So these are examples, but I put those aside. The Bible said when you see people that deny the death of Jesus Christ, Jesus being a torment, Jesus being a sacrifice, Jesus being the door to the Father, our life is redeemed in Christ. People denying and rejecting the power of the Holy Spirit, people rejecting the true word of God. He said, What depart, don't death close to these people. False doctrines have been part of Satan's attack on God and God's people since Adam and Eve. Somebody wrote this, I got this from what somebody wrote. He said, Some of the most prevalent of false doctrines are worshiping Mary. Jesus Christ is not God. That's what people say. Christ's blood does not atone. That is one of them. These the, the false preachers are saying baptism by any other means. Eh, bab, baptism by any means other than immersion. They baptize like sprinkling. That is not the way they don't want us to baptize. You don't sprinkle. So they say baptism by any means other than, you see, other than immersion. Immersion. That's a false. That's a false teaching. Speaking in tongues that are not known language. People speak, stand against speaking in tongues. Spirit of spirit of baptism. They call spirit of baptism. That's how some people are so spiritism. They're so spiritism. So this is a bunch of uh, false doctrine. This man found out and brought. I, I I got it. I was just researching and I got this. I said, okay, let me bring it up for us to look. I said some of the popular newer ones are name it and claim it. This. <laughs> it and claim it all this false doctrine is a false doctrine god does not join they, they do everything they like they say oh god does not join you see somebody living in sin they say oh god does not join yes god does not join but we must obey his word okay they live anyhow they say god does not join they say live like the world reach to reach the world he said well you have to live like the world to reach the world thereby so if somebody is a fornicator okay let me fornicate so that i'll win them that is a lie that is living in the world. So these are some of the teachings that these people present. Another one is, okay, do I have to live dressed naked? Example, you know, I'm not against people's dressing, but I just want to give example a little bit. 
I just want to give an example a little bit. If I come to you and say, Father, I greet you in the name of Jesus, your eye will force of fall, eat the food before you swallow, right? Your, force, your eye will force of fall, read me. Okay? When you read me, you'll be able to say, oh, if you just, you want to check. So, dressing, you want to be very careful what, how you, how you comport yourself before the public. The Bible says, we dress modestly, but that is outside. I'm talking about sin right now. So your dressing doesn't matter in this matter, you know. What matters is the doctrine, the teaching of Jesus Christ. Every other thing, every other thing, you know, the Holy Spirit will not convict how you comport yourself before public. But around other ones they are talking about, they say live like the world to reach the world and the prosperity gospel. All these are part of what have created a deception. Honestly, uh, if you did not follow the prophetic prayer, just follow the prophetic prayer. The Lord is really angry and it's so shameful. I'm telling you, it's so shameful that people bring their ministry, they sell their gifts, they sell their, the, the gifts of God. Some people, before they pray for you, they want you to join their club. They don't want you to, they want you to uh, uh, be part of the ministry. And you see, they make you pay so much amount to be part of the ministry. I'm like, when I saw this, I said, what is going on? What is going on? What are these people doing? Somebody that says she prays for people and she prophesies and somebody wants to reach you for prayer. You see what I'm saying? Why don't you communicate with that person? Okay, you should have some prayer group people that have been reaching out to people. But this one, they say you have to be a member. You have to join their group. And for you to join the group, that's honestly a huge sum of money for somebody to join the group, they join their uh, 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 support, be their support. I don't know what that group stands for. So that he can be able to communicate with a human being. The gift of God is not for sale. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the treasure God has given to us. And it's this word of God that mold us. Mold us like a God. God is the potter. We are the clay in his hand. He will mold us the way he wants us to be. And he will not put the word of God in us. That when we go with this word of God, the word of God touch people's life. Transform life, but why are people selling it? When I was, it, it was something I watched. I said, God have mercy. So if people want to sell, they, what is somebody that don't have money, but they want you to pray for them? You have people that can set up prayer warriors that can reach people. So this has a lot of business business people on the platform. They come in the media. Everything when they give people money, they come in the media for people to see that they are sharing money. What about? What what did Jesus tell us? He said, freely I give you. Freely you have to receive. Because Jesus didn't tell us we have to pay. Those of us that God has called in the ministry. He didn't tell us we have to pay. We didn't pay Jesus. He, 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 he died for us. He has given us the vision, the ministry freely. And he said, freely I give to you. And it's freely you give to others as well. So when I had this, I'm like, so you see, these are part of it. Then you ask me, which prayer will this person pray and God hear? You see, this, God is not a partial God. God is not a respecter of man. You see that a lot of them have, are really losing the glory. A lot of them are really losing it. So what are they prophesying? Which prayer are they praying? And I ask myself, will God hear those prayers that are based on business? That question is only God that I have to answer. I cannot answer. Okay? Each of these false doctrines cannot be found in the Bible. Oh, the person or the person teaching them might twist a verse or two to make their doctrine sound like truth. But when you study the whole word of God, you will see them for what they are. False doctrine. I just use this as an example. This particular lady fall in the path like live like the world reach the world she was like that because she would come in contact in the place where she worshiped or whoever that converted her because i know the the, the pre the she and the sister they were preached to and they gave their life to christ she fought in the path that just accept jesus live your life the way you want you already accept jesus so it's a false teaching it's a false doctrine and this false teaching have affected a lot of people and they are not serving the law. A lot of them are going to Hades. They will go to hell. That's a false teaching. But did God give them, God always give opportunity for correction. So if they do not take the correction, it's just left to them. Okay? So let's go on with this lady. Proverbs 11. 1. Because when I saw, I saw when the Lord was showing me, giving me guidance for this message. 
I saw numbers weighing balance. If the numbers, this number is different, this number is different, it didn't match. Another number come, it's just like it's weighed. I said, what is this? What is this? He said, people are going to be weighed based on how they serve him, how they obey him. People, God, he's, he weighs everybody, intent of every man's hand, the Lord weighs. Proverbs 11, 1 says, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. The weight, the Lord will balance his, we all are balanced and weighed by the word of God. By our accepting Jesus, by living right, by obeying his word. This is how we are going to be weighed. We are named written in the book of life, the first step. Then how we depend on Christ, obey his word, live in righteousness, the Holy Spirit, accepting the Holy Spirit to lead us. We cannot do it on our own without the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And the guidance of the Holy Spirit starts from the word of God. We are going to be weighed on this balance because it's like, what did the Bible say? What did I tell you about forgiveness? You see, that's we are going to be weighed. What, what did I tell you about going for judgment? The vengeance is mine. The, you see, these are the way we are going to be weighed in balance. This lady, her own balance didn't, it has, didn't balance well. Because the Lord gave me two numbers, like two sets of numbers. Like there's a, there's a balance, there's a scale, the numbers. So I keep wondering, who is this? Then he tell me, that's the person we are going to look at. They come woman i say con woman con woman i know i've heard of con men con women then he said go do the research that was where i went to buy i went to search a con woman who cheats or tricks someone by gaining their trust and persuading them to believe something that is not true a woman who tricks others into giving her money giving her money and so on a con woman posed as a charity worker to treat people into handing over money so when i look at this i said wow so this is who we are going to look and then he showed me the duties of the twin as a con lady one we are talking about the twin right a person wrapped in a white fell from a mountain i i was brought out you know i saw somebody from I would just it's like a high place, like a mountain. I was standing. This person rolled, you know, they rolled this person, boom, the person fell. I'm like, what is this? I've heard that it's like there's been an accident or something like that. Somebody is 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 dying. I said, Wow. So who is this person? Then the Lord started describing for me who this person was. Now, apart from the part that somebody died, right? The the the, the rolled person that was dead. It's like they kidnap, they, they ask for ransom, and they are asked to go and kill, to clear the way for whoever that bought them. So the person I saw, example, is like somebody wrote that this is the way she have this is the way she had accident and she fell out and that's how she died. Now, you see, there's something we want to do see here. Whatever anybody sows. That person will reap it. I'm telling you. People reap what they sow. How you how you take people, that's what you sow. How you treat people, that's what you sow. How you walk in the in the Lord, obey the word of God, that is what you sow. How you treat innocent children. You know, the one of innocent children is a the highest one. Because the Bible said, except we be like these children, we cannot make the kingdom of God. Except we bring ourselves. As these little ones, humble, that we don't know anything, depend on Christ. For him to take over our life, the Holy Spirit guiding us. If we don't be like these little ones, we cannot make the kingdom of God. So what anybody sows, that's what they reap. Okay? So it, she had an accident. Just it's like these two form is the form. One is like for the message, message how she died and how the accident happened. She was thrown out. And another one. She was in the business of, if you pay me money, and get anybody want me to get. No matter the age, this lady was used to destroy many lives. To destroy many lives. And she was used to fabricate God's word. She was used to destroy people that want to stand in the truth. Right? In the sense that she believed she was misled and thought that once you have accepted Christ, your name is written in the book of life, that ends it. Not knowing that your name can be erased. Once name can be erased, it's fair because I've said the Lord showed me the book of life. I saw some names and I saw some erased.
some my kind of some my kind of fading out and coming back and fading out. I said, wow. I said, what is it? He said, this is book of life. As people remain in Christ, obedient to His word, their names are written in the book of life. It will not fade. But people that just go back in sin, back and forth, they are, they can't be candidates for heaven because such life is not in heaven. The Lord just break it down for me. In heaven, you can't see people that want to kill their brothers and sisters because of property. You don't see somebody that lie to cheat, to steal from somebody. You don't see somebody that kidnap and destroy somebody's life. You can't see that in heaven. You see what I'm saying? In heaven, you can't see people of sort that are so deceptive. You can't see fornicators. You can't see adulterers. You can't see agents of darkness, witchcraft. You can't see them in the kingdom of God. You can't see sorcerers. You can't see emulators in the kingdom of God. You can't see people that are so deceptive and selfish in the sense that they try to they try to sow seed as we are here now they want to bring negative news about evangelist country so that people will not follow evangelist country such people you don't have them in heaven because it's a wrong spirit that they have given the enemy room to control them they can't carry such spirit to heaven that's why when the trumpets sound they'll be so heavy for the holy spirit to pick up you see what i'm saying so such people cannot make the kingdom of god so they don't know they told them this and they believe in it. So you can do anything. Why not just keep doing anything? Let me see. Your name is already written in the book of, of life. No, your name can be erased. Your name can be erased. And that's why some people's name are just going back and forth, back and forth. Today you repent, tomorrow you come back, today you repent. No. The Lord already know that you are going to do that. When you already bear for forgiveness of sin, bear for forgiveness of sin. This lady was misled like that. This lady was was. I won't use the word brainwash, but she she have it's from her heart. The Bible says, "From the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaks." It, it's in her. For somebody that don't care, do anything for money is her business, and it grow in her heart. People conscious as seeing. Some people, sorry, and there are people that their conscience and answer they have conscience. So these are two ways. So she was misled. Okay, this is. Where her joy, where she was, this was what she was doing, and the past that, yeah, I didn't put it down because I just because the Lord wanted me to put later all this many I this will be in a book, and the Lord was wanting me to always put it down. So, you know, she went back and forth with the sister, the twin sister. The twin sister does not worship in the same place with her. The twin sister study meditated the word of God to always use the word of God to correct her. This is what you are doing. It is wrong. These are twins. They are twins, right? But the sister will be cautioning her. So I didn't get the name, but I just put this one as the con lady, right? The con woman, okay? Rejected the wise counsel from her twin sister yet. She warned her of wrong place of worship to live anyhow after first accepting Christ's doctrine is wrong. She warned her, living anyhow you want after accepting Christ's doctrine is wrong. So the sister was one that the Lord really used to give her the opportunity. And she said, you are cold. You know, she just, you know, they used to know when you choose to do the right thing. You see people that think that they are they think they are wise, not knowing that their wisdom is the wisdom of men. They will talk you down. You see, they criticize you. We, they criticize us. Somebody wrote me saying, what are you wasting your time? And, you know, they criticize our Lord Jesus Christ just because the first, first, first preachers, liars, come people like this have gone ahead and deceived people in the name of Christ. So sometimes when we preach, Satan has already hardened their heart. You know, so according according to the, the book of Corinthians 4, 4. So if we look at it very well, it, we just have to pray for them so that the Lord will touch them. So this is where the lady was. And she was, she was going for it. She was representing, oh my goodness. She was representing these liars on the platform. They, she helped them to make up stories and bring the message wrong and twist the truth. And throw it out to people. There are those people that when we, we when when we bring one of their false preachers and we bring what they do that wrong, they are the one that we even come to physical to a strike and attack. She was the con woman. Okay, so the accident. So the way you saw the accident, she was in the same vehicle with the sister. The accident happened, and the way the accident happened, she was rolled out. She was rolled out. Did both of them die? Yes. The both of them died, yes. But what happened? She found only herself in Hades. In Hades, we all know two compartments. One in the Abraham side, one in the place of the rich man, the way of the place of torment. 
there's a big gulf. Remember, there's a big gulf. So the the person in the place of peace, sleeping, when we say so rest in peace, somebody that is dead, not all of them we say rest in peace, are resting in peace. I'm telling you, they are not. Not all of them we say rest in peace, are resting in peace. So those that are in the path of peace, resting in peace, cannot come over to the path. Of the part of Hades that is of torment. Let us get this stress, my brethren. Don't let anybody deceive you. Okay. I always bring it up here. I always encourage us to know this fact. In Hades, a lady was surprised that she did not see her twin sister. That was when I was started. She came in. I saw this person. Boom! You could see like when the first time they come in, you could see, you could see like the dark grayish garment they had on. That the, you see, spots and dirt. That's the it's, you know that this person lived sin, in sin, and that's where they find themselves here. She came in. She was looking around, like, where is she? Where is who? She was looking for her sister. No, she didn't come to hear this with you. You are dead. You are in a place of torment. As soon as she landed, boom! You know the culture. They grabbed her. The welcoming torture started. The welcoming torture started. She ran as the people she, that tortured her from them. Because when she welcomed, behold, the, 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 the way she deceived people, she would start experiencing these demons doing that to them, doing it to her. She was welcome and all that. I'm a, you know, I'm, I follow the righteous man and all that and all that. Boom, they grab her. You see the sword go from the face down, down, down to the lower area. She screamed and the, the body, the, the past came back together again. They run and start. You see, you know, if you remember most of the teachings, I, the, the way I, I saw it, I always say it, that you know how it was. She started running. As she was running, just as the way people were running from her when she was alive, she was hiding in this place, she was hiding in that place, and they come in, and they come in, that kind of a thing. A bundle of string. I saw a, a, a bundle, uh, the bundle of a string. From nowhere, they found her, they run her, they wrap her. Just the way she wrapped people, it's like I saw somebody, I said, fell down, wrapped in a white fabric, covered in white fabric. The string came, rolled over her, you know, they used the string to roll over her, pull her down. Oh, we found you, found you. The torture started, the torment continued. Screaming for help and demons laugh. Okay, this is how you did that with them. This is how you dealt with them. They go for another one. Okay, we don't. We want you to go and get somebody for us. We will do it very well. She is the one they'll get. This, this torment continued. This torment continued. There was one. There, there was one part. He said she was screaming Lord's help because I remember. I remember the first time. The first time. I came to know that this I was taken out. If I don't know if I shared the message here, maybe I'll bring it up again. The first time the Lord started taking me out to Hades, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know I was I I just finished praying, I put my head down to sleep, but I couldn't sleep. I heard this huge voice come. I'm like, who is that? This voice was so strong to hold even if the voice could control any being. I found myself in this place that is so dark you will see there are various smaller sizes of compartments you, it has no end but i noticed that the, there was a bright light bright light in front of me this light was so bright so the brightness of this light gave light in that place i'm like where is this place oh my goodness and i saw the lord i said yeah i remember you my friend you know then he has not even reminded me when he used to visit me when i was, when I was little right so I said, yeah, I remember you, my friend. What is going on here? And I saw his cries. I'm like, I was so happy that he came back. He recognized me, picked me up again, you know, to start off the journey for me to be seeing him. So when he stood, girl, you could see the brightness of the Lord. I looked, you could see the, 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 the place, the nails and all that. He gave light. Everything about him was like, but there was something I want to share here where I brought it up. It's like, People were screaming at each compartment. You see, somebody is there. I said, what is this? It's like the size of the casket, right? Just like many of them. They're not brought it this way. You know, in Hades, the people that you see, people that uh, have gone to heaven and come back, the people that have died, they have so many ways the Lord reveal Hades and hell for them. So this is the way the Lord kind of grant me grace to see it. You could see compartments, compartments. You was they were searching her. You were there. We were deceived. I said, ah, 
who are these people? And I knew I was standing by, there was this lady that was the first time the Lord the letter took me the second time to, for me to hear her story, right? So she was by the side there, they were screaming, you are dead. They deceived those who were deceived, who were deceived. But they were stretching their hand. I'm like, what? So that's a story for another day, right? So like this lady, she was screaming, Lord, they, I will, they deceived me. They, you know, I was deceived. I, I gave my life to Christ. Why am I here? Why am I here? I gave my life to Christ. Why am I here? She screamed, I accepted Christ. The demons told her, but you did not live like the righteous man. I was like, okay. She, she said, but I gave my life to you. She said, but you did, they were just mocking her, you know, in a mocking formula. You did not live like the righteous man. So that's why you are here. Just accepting the righteous man is just the beginning. You did not live like the righteous man. And when she was saying, you could see terror, every part of her being. You could see terror. Another group of this creature came, gave her a rock in the size of a Bible for her to read. He said, you read this. This is what you, this is about the righteous man, what he wants you to read. Look at what they say, say, but it is hard. She said, but it is hard. Yes, you should have read and obey what is in the world. So the spirit of the righteous one will guide and lead you as the righteous one. If you say you accepted the righteous one, this was it. This really was, this was kind of, it's like a, it's like something like a, a tennis thing popping up my head. I said, what? Because as I was, as was happening, the Lord was just granting me grace. I was writing. I'm like, what? He said, you should have read the word. If you have read the word of the righteous man, the spirit of the righteous man will guide you. You won't be here. But you choose not to read the, the word of the righteous man. So take it now. They gave her this, <laughs> the rock that is like the shape of a Bible. It was born. She screamed. He said, take it. And they hit it on her. This continued and continued and continued and continued. So, brother, you know the torment in Hades. All those things. She's not hearing voice, screaming. My sister, all the things that the sister was telling her. She's not, excuse me, she started screaming. Oh, I can hear, I can hear. Where are you? I can hear, I regret now, I regret now. The, the creature said, it's too late, it's too late. Because you are here now, you're already dead, you can't go back. Brethren, this is an eye-opener to me. It's an eye-opener because when people don't want to serve the Lord, they will use one excuse or the other and the people the bible said people, they love pleasure more than god this is what we see in these last days so we want to be very careful because this message come like in two ways yes it's it's a uh, it's a uh, in hades in many a deceived she was deceived by false teachers but her heart is not made up to love the lord you see well, the bible said that we should love the lord with our heart with our mind with our soul in everything in us that's how we love the lord and we love our neighbors ourselves two things in here this lady did not she, she said she accepted christ she didn't love the lord to obey him and number two you know what she didn't care she has to make money she didn't love her neighbors herself because of money, she has to make money. Her heart has already been seared with hot iron to carry out her mission, to be the con woman for the well-known in the society. That's what she wants. Because even though, even though she wanted money, there are other jobs she can do. You, there's other jobs you can do. And also when you come to money, people do anything for money. Remember the Bible said, the love of the money is the root of all evil. All evil. Because when somebody gets one money, one amount of money, they want to put it to get more. They want to put it to get more. And when people start doing something because of money, just like what I was sharing with us here, the people that come in the media, that they are, and they are philanthropists, they are serving for the poor, they are giving to the poor. The little they share in the media that they give to people, for example, if they give like $4, Give for four dollars or four hundred dollars, brethren, they are getting over four hundred million on the other side because people have been giving for them to give. So for them to get, just like the example I told you, somebody called for prayer and they told that you have to be a part of the ministry by starting with a huge sum of money. I don't know if I call the amount that people will know what I'm talking about. You know, with a huge sum of money, and what if this person don't have? They said she, she can she, he can talk to the person. Are you kidding me? So you see, even though the person might be praying and prophesying, but this is how they you get that money to get give to people. Then you will ask me, who is answering the prayer? God does not sell his prayer. 
So I'm, I ask myself, who will answer your prayer? We, so there's no faith here. So all the entertainment in the media is deception. They said the gift. That's why many people, things happen in people's life. And you'll be wondering, how did this happen? And if you follow the prophetic prayer, the last prophetic prayer, the Lord is angry at, in the land. A lot of them, even people that he called, because of the love of money, they choose to set up doctrines and ways to continue to get money. But what about the ministry? The ministry of Jesus Christ is not for sale. He reached the poor. He feed the poor. Jesus have to borrow to feed. He borrowed the fish from the boy, right? The fish and the bread. Jesus have to borrow to even feed. And let to pay back to the boy that brought the fish and the bread. So what is going on today? You see, this is where people are so misled that they don't want to serve the Lord. But what I will say there is left to the person. When you accept Jesus as Lord, you give your heart to Jesus. You will love him with all your heart. You don't even attach to people. It doesn't matter who. Have faith in him that you can talk, come to him in boldness. Father, in the name of Jesus, pray you. He will hear you. You don't need evangelist country. You don't need anybody. Evangelist country will guide you. You even if there is catching guide you, you still have to go do something. Let me give us something. How not to be deceived? How not to be deceived? For you not to be deceived, look at what I want to tell you. The Bible speaks clearly on this. Acts 17, verse 11. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica. Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether these those things were so. So when you come across these people, all you have to do go and start the scriptures. What they are saying is it right? What they are doing is it right? Then you you, you give yourself a checkpoint or cross out. So if you put with that person, Second Timothy two fifteen said. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. This is you now. You don't need anybody to go to Christ. You don't need anybody to pray to the most high God in the name of Jesus. Look at what the demon told the lady. He said, yeah, you accepted the righteous man. Yes, but you didn't read this word. You didn't depend on the the, the one that guided the righteous man. You didn't. So you are here. You didn't do what he said. This is just it. Timothy said, we study to show ourselves approved. Brethren, you don't need anybody to go to the almighty God. Jesus has given you the door. Pass through Jesus and you get to the almighty door. You don't need another. Please, don't depend on this oil. We pray. When we want to pray, anointing oil is for prayer. You anoint and you do what? You pray. You don't have faith in anointing oil. Please, this is where the deceptions they bring in the body of Christ. You anoint and pray over it. Not just depend on the oil. Oh, because this evangelical team blesses it. Or that person blesses it. That is very, very wrong. This person is not serving Christ. Don't depend on those water they give you guys. Remember the one I told us about TB Joshua? Where their water come from? Everyone that connected to TB Joshua, mark them. Just take time, mark them. This man brought false, deceptive teaching in the body of Christ. And people are not seeing it. Anybody that depends in the word of God, have personal relationship with Christ, you don't need another. You don't need anybody. I'm still saying it and I'll continue to say it. The deception of these signs and wonders, the manipulation of sorcery, witchcraft that this man presented in the face of the earth. TB Joshua was used by satanic deity and she knew, he knew where he was. And many that connected to him, I am telling you, check them out, there's a, a question mark. You see sorcery, where did the anointing come? You see manipulated spirit of divination. So many things happening in the body of Christ. That's why the Lord is so angry. Whereby people look on the human being. 
They don't look on him, Jesus, the utter definition of our faith. He is the one that is the head of the church. Jesus is the one that paid the price. Jesus is our sacrifice. Jesus is our torment. He has set himself as a sin for us, for us to come to God in boldness, whereby you go to God the Father. Desire him. Study his word. Be patient. That's why the fruit of the Holy Spirit in the book of Galatians chapter 5, if you read from 22, he said the fruit of the Holy Spirit, you have faith. You have joy. You have patience, tolerance. You see, love is there. Joy is there. Prayer, prayer is there. Trust him. Oh my goodness. God is faithful, my brethren. The way God works is not the way human being works. So don't give God a standard. This is the way God is supposed to answer me. No, God will not work in your own way. He said his ways are higher than our ways and our thoughts. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So which one are you presenting to God? That's why he said you must to come to the Lord as a child. As a child. You must go. You might look at your degrees and your theology and yes, no, no. Every day of your life, you must come to him as a child, depending on him. That life belongs to him. Your day belongs to him. You don't have the life of your own. Your life depends on him. That's he, he covers his soul. That's why he said you run into the secret place of the most high. You abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Why would people keep looking for who will perform miracle for them? I see a lot of people bowing down almost to lift the shoes of a human being that go in the toilet and poop that lie behind behind bars they're because these people have been bewitched and manipulated they have opened the door for for this human worshiping and they cage their minds let us be honest with this they create doctrine look at this lady going to a place of in a place of torment she was told that you have, now you have given your life to christ you can do anything are you kidding me Look at her, even the sister correct and correct and correct. She did not. She died, found herself in a place of torment, headed. She was looking for the sister. No, the sister is not there. The sister was not there. The sister is in a place of peace. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, this word of God, hold it. I don't need any, I don't need to depend on any church because I belong to this church, I belong to that church, I belong to that ministry, I belong to that ministry. So whatever they say has I live my life, that's a lie. That's a lie. You have to check yourself. The journey for any child of God, you, the journey, you are alone with Christ. The Holy Spirit guides you. You don't, you don't depend on another. I'm telling you the truth. You do not depend on another because if you depend because I belong to this ministry, I belong to this ministry, so I live by what they say. That you, you see, if you belong to a place of worship, they train you because those of you in God's general prayer group and in conference, most of the time we have conferences, we have a prayer time. And you see, those of you there, you see, I monitor people. I, how you respect God is how you present your letters. Because sometimes God grant me grace as people are typing and praying. I just monitor what they are typing. Sometimes I will respond to the prayer, but I'm watching everything. What people respond will tell me the level where this person is in the Lord. How they put their prayer. Sometimes I call them back. This is how you want to put it. This is what the Bible says. This is how you put it. I put it. And I always use the word of God to correct as many that are in the group. And this is gradual. People grow. So they have to grow on their own. I don't impose. Nobody should impose a law on you that is outside the gospel of Jesus Christ. So people create it so that they will catch people in a particular fold. That is not the teaching. Sometimes the, the, uh, in the group, I always said it, if you want to exit, please exit. If you can't obey what the Bible says and how we respect God, exit. I always put it in. <laughs> people don't exit, they will still remain. Because if they are not gaining anything in this group, they will leave. But they know they are gaining something in this group, they remain. And this group will bring people to serve God in truth and in spirit. You must develop a personal relationship with Him, not, uh, not, not attached to any other. So I encourage you, Please, Timothy said in 2 Timothy 2.15, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Please, divide the word of truth. As you study the word of God, I pray in the name of Jesus that the grace of God will give you understanding by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray that you go back always to the scriptures to search the scriptures so that you will not be misled. 
I pray and I cover you all with the blood of Jesus so that you will not be misled by hypnotism, by intimidation, by manipulation. Don't dominate your Christian life. You will never be manipulated by this in the name of Jesus. I pray today that the spirit of righteousness flow over us. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that your power take over this session, this message, reach to lives for people to start to draw back to Jesus, hold on to Jesus. I pray against every spirit of lies of Satan that is flowing about against the gospel of Jesus on our altars, on our prof on our platform. I pray against every ministry that have false teaching, that have human buried under their platform. The Lord is opening my eye to see churches, places of worship, they have demonic powers operating there because a, a, a bunch of people, bundle of people were buried under their altars and they keep manip manipulating people's heart to be able to manipulate and as people are manip being manipulated and they keep opening to them and people keep deceived father start to expose these altars in jesus name bring them to failure from today every gathering that is against the gospel of jesus christ that have been killing and destroying life father start to expose them start to push us out of this fold in jesus name lord i pray let there be no more deceived in the life of souls please deliver anyone that is in the verge of being deceived for many are misled many are deceived father please in the name of jesus start to deliver lives from the cage and clutch of the agents of satan in jesus name Thank you, Holy Spirit, and I pray that this message will reach lives, touch souls to your glory, and souls will return back to you, Jesus, to live rightly to make heaven. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name we pray. As I break the hands of the enemy over this message, I break the hands of the evil one over this family that hear the sound of my voice, I break the hands of the evil one over these lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for in Jesus' name we pray and worship. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Always join our daily devotion. Have a blessed week in Jesus' almighty name. Amen. Bye-bye.